What's up, everybody? This is Tech G back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you what the simple mail transfer protocol is, in case you have no idea what this thing does. So let's get into it. All right. So the simple mail transfer protocol, this is a critical component of the Internet's email system responsible for sending and relaying messages between email servers. And SMTP's functionality is foundational to email communication. It can get essential to understand for anyone involved in managing or utilizing email services. In this video, we're going to explore SMTP in depth, talk about how it works, its components, security aspects, and its role in the broader email ecosystem. All right, so exactly what is SMTP? So like I stated earlier, this stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. And it is a protocol used for sending and receiving email messages over the internet. And SMTP is designed to handle the sending of messages from a client to a server or from one server to another, facilitating the reliable transmission of email. Exactly how does SMTP work? So SMTP, this operates on a client server model where email clients such as Outlook, Thunderbird, or some webmail interfaces, they communicate with email servers to send messages. And the protocol uses the transmission control protocol and typically operates on port 25, although ports 587 and 465 are also used for secure communication. So here's a basic workflow. You have the email composition, and this is where the user composes an email in their email client and then hits the send button. After that, the email client connects to the SMTP server using TCP. Then the client and server perform a handshake to establish a connection. And this involves the client sending a hello command to identify itself and the server responding with a status code. Then the client sends the mail from command to specify the sender's email address, followed by the receipt to command to specify the recipient's email address. And the data command is then used to send the email content. After that, the SMTP server processes the message, determining if it can directly deliver to the recipient server or if it needs to relay the message through additional SMTP servers. Then if the recipient server is not immediately available, the SMTP server queues the messages and attempts to resend it at regular intervals. Then finally, the recipient's SMTP server receives the message, processes it, and then delivers it to the recipient's mailbox. Let's talk about the components of SMTP. So SMTP, this involves several key components that work together to facilitate email transmission. The first is the SMTP client. So the email client or application that initiates the sending of an email, that is your SMTP client, and it interacts with the SMTP server to relay the email message. Then you have the SMTP server. So this is the server that is responsible for sending and relaying email messages, and it processes the SMTP commands. It handles the transmission of messages to other servers or directly to the recipient server. Then there's what is called the mail transfer agent. And it's a software that transfers email messages between servers using SMTP. And examples include SendMail, PostFix, and Exum. And then you have what is called the mail delivery agent. And this is software that delivers email messages to the recipient's mailbox. And examples include Dove, Cotton, Courier. And then you have what is called the mail user agent. And this is the email client that is used by the end user to compose, send, and receive email messages. All right, so let's move on and talk about SMTP relay and delivery. So let's start with SMTP relay. And this refers to the process of transferring an email message from one SMTP server to another until it reaches its final destination. And this is particularly important for emails sent from one domain to another. SMTP relays, they ensure that emails traverse the internet passing through various servers along the way. And then we have direct and relay delivery. So when it comes to direct delivery, the sending SMTP server connects directly to the recipient's SMTP server to deliver the mail. And this is straightforward and efficient if both servers are available. You have what is called relay delivery. So if the recipient's SMTP server is unavailable, the sending server relays the message through intermediary SMTP servers. And this ensures that the email eventually reaches its destination, even if it involves multiple hops. Let's move on and talk about SMTP authentication and security. 
So as email use grew, so did the need for securing SMTP transactions. Now, originally, SMTP did not include any authentication mechanisms, making it vulnerable to abuse. And modern implementations of SMTP include several security measures. And the first is SMTP authentication. So this is an extension to SMTP that allows email clients to authenticate to the SMTP server. And this helps prevent unauthorized users from sending emails through that server. Then you have what is called secure SMTP or SMTPS. And this involves using SSL TLS to encrypt SMTP connections, ensuring that email content and credentials are protected during transmission. And this can be achieved using two methods. You have implicit SSL TLS, and this is SMTP over SSL TLS, and it typically uses port 465. And then you have what is called explicit SSL TLS or start TLS, and this upgrades an existing plain text connection to an encrypted one using the start TLS command, and this is typically on port 587. And here are some common security practices. So you have the use of strong authentication. So you want to implement strong authentication mechanisms to prevent unauthorized access to your SMTP server. Then you want to use SSL TLS to encrypt SMTP connections, protecting email content and credentials. After that, you want to deploy spam and virus filtering to detect and block malicious emails. Then you want to regularly monitor and log SMTP activity to detect and respond to suspicious behavior. Let's talk about SMTP in the email ecosystem. So SMTP, this is a critical component of the broader email ecosystem, working alongside with other protocols and technologies to provide a seamless email experience. The first is POP3 or Post Office Protocol version 3. And this is used by email clients to retrieve messages from a mail server, and it is often used in conjunction with SMTP for sending and receiving emails. You have IMAP, and that stands for Internet Message Access Protocol. This is another protocol for retrieving emails, allowing users to manage their email directly on the server, and it supports advanced features like folder management and synchronization across multiple devices. You have what's called MIME, or Multi-Purpose Internet Mail Extensions, and this extends the email format to support attachments, rich text, and multimedia content, and SMTP works with MIME to send emails that include these elements. Then you have what is called DKIM or Domain Keys Identified Mail. And this is an email authentication method that allows the sender to digitally sign emails, which helps recipients verify that the email has not been altered. And then we have what is called DMARC or Domain Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. And this builds on SPF and DKIM to provide domain level email authentication and reporting. Let's quickly talk about the advantages and disadvantages of SMTP. So here are the advantages. The first is simplicity. So SMTP is a straightforward and well-established protocol that is easy to implement and use. SMTP is universally supported, ensuring compatibility between different email clients and servers. It also includes mechanisms for retrying failed deliveries to ensure that emails eventually reach their destinations. And then there are extensions out there that can enhance the protocol's functionality and security. When it comes to the disadvantages, the first one is there's a lack of built-in security. So the original SMTP specification did not include authentication or encryption, making it vulnerable to abuse. Also, SMTP's openness has led to widespread spam and email abuse, necessitating additional filtering and security measures. And also, properly securing and configuring SMTP servers can be complex, requiring expertise to implement best practices. Now, with all that being said, let's talk about the future of SMTP. So SMTP has evolved significantly since its inception, and it continues to adapt to the changing landscape of email communication. So here are some key areas of focus for the future of SMTP. The first is enhanced security. So continued improvements in authentication, encryption, and anti-abuse measures. This will help secure SMTP against emerging threats. There's going to be advances in spam detection and filtering technologies that will further reduce the prevalence of unsolicited emails, which will improve the overall quality of email communication communication. Also, as the volume of email traffic continues to grow, SMTP systems will need to scale efficiently to handle increased loads while maintaining performance and reliability. Also, SMTP will increasingly integrate with new technologies and standards such as blockchain for email authenticity and machine learning for intelligent email processing and routing. And then there's going to be enhancements in user experience, particularly around ease of configuration and management, which will make SMTP more accessible to a broader range of users and organizations.
Now, to wrap all this up, SMTP, this is a fundamental component of the Internet's email infrastructure, enabling the reliable transmission of messages across the globe. Its simplicity, interoperability, and reliability have made it the backbone of email communication for decades. And despite its initial lack of built-in security features, SMTP has evolved to incorporate robust authentication and encryption mechanisms, ensuring secure email delivery in today's threat landscape. So whether you're configuring an email server, integrating email capabilities into your applications, or simply curious about how email works, understanding SMTP is an essential step in navigating the complex and fascinating world of email technology.